This call may be monitored or recorded for quality assurance purposes. Tr- trucks, are, trucks are good. Yeah, trucks are good. Uh, we have lease purchase program, uh, three years term. Uh, most of the drivers like it. Even if the, the gross for reefer and driving are not that fantastic like uh, one, two years back, still there are interested drivers to work with us uh, because in, in this uh, time they build equity of that truck. Even if they receive the uh, approximate amount of money that um, a driver, a company driver has, uh, let's say maybe 2200 2500 sometimes it's even 2000 uh, per week, uh, income, they still are happy with the lease purchase because after three years they can always either sell the truck, either become own operators on their own. Um, yeah, so that's that's also one of the good factors that uh, um, drivers are attracted to our company. Welcome back, drivers, to the Recruiter Call Channel. And in this MTC, we're going to be looking at Hora Express USA out of Illinois. Let's see. They are out of Crest Hill, Illinois, to be exact. Horror Express. We did a make the call video on them a while ago, which was a good call, by the way. So much so that Horror Express reached back out to the recruiter call channel to give us an update on what they are offering. They are offering OTR drivers to jump into their drop-in hook loads from Chicago, Illinois to Philadelphia, PA. Hopefully you guys is not taking that good 95. I'm just saying. And they offering that you can be home weekly otr drivers from other states are welcome to join their otr loads three weeks needed two years of experience and they pay between 60 and 65 cent a mile this is w2 not not 1099 and they also can offer 30 percent gross on 1099 okay they got options for reefer, flatbed, and drive-in. All right, so um, who do we have on the line? Uh, hi, it's uh, Lori here at Horror Express, south of Chicago. All right. How are you today? I am. Uh, I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate um, Horror Express out of Chicago, Illinois. We have done a MTC on you guys before. Uh, you guys decided to reach back out to us again to, you know, give us an update uh, on what's going on with you guys from the last time we spotlighted you on the company. So, um, so let's start at the beginning. Um, Hara Express out of the out of the Chicago land area. Uh, what would be my responsibilities as a driver with you guys? Uh, yeah, so um, pretty much uh, the same uh, responsibilities of the driver haven't been changed. Uh, it's pretty much uh, you know like loads over the road that we do. Uh, we hire one-year drivers for teams, team loads as of now. It's uh, the same like last last time. Um, it has been changed a little bit now for uh, experience of the drivers uh, since, you know, like insurance companies are more and more expensive. Uh, that's why we, we would prefer to have two-year uh, experienced drivers to start with us. Uh, we have drive-in, reefer, flatbeds, step decks, um, which are pretty good uh, loads and pretty much good pay for two-year drivers. Right. Um, One-year drivers, uh, they can, you know, do a lot of hook and drop, refer, drive-in loads, 6,000 miles provided, um, and we pay 75 cents per mile for, for teams, All which right. is uh, not bad these days. All right. So you says uh, you uh, guys Yeah, ha- and then uh, so- solo drivers. Um, I'm mm-hmm. I'm sorry. Uh, all right, so you guys have a lot of divisions there. So you guys have one of the divisions is flatbed. So do you have to have additional uh, flatbed experience coming in there, or do you have, or do you guys train drivers that don't have flatbed experience that might be interested in doing flatbed? 
Uh, yeah, a lot of uh, drivers call us for training. Uh, unfortunately, we aren't able to provide training at this time because um, it requires a lot of more resources. Uh, but uh, in terms of flatbed experience, um, preferably we would like to have at least maybe eight months, a year of experience in flatbeds, Conestoga, step decks, um, even if the driver, you know, had um, had other type of loads uh, delivered, like reefer or drive in, they can always shift to flatbed because at this moment, the rates for flatbed are much, much higher than, let's say, drive in or reefer. So, uh, it, it's a great, you know, opportunity for drivers to shift as of now. Maybe they can um, learn or, you know, those that are, have already experienced that, that would be great. But in terms of training, unfortunately, uh, we can't do it now. Maybe in the future we'll, we'll try to uh, recruit some trainers um, to do it on a professional basis. All right. Awesome. Uh, what lanes do you guys run and do you run Canada? Uh, no, we don't run Canada. We run all four eight states. Um, pretty much, you know, if the driver is available to do four eight states, then we can be more flexible in helping with uh, getting a good rate. Let's say if the driver is getting 30% of the gross, it means that uh, that driver who is available to go anywhere, anytime, uh, it means uh, he, he's going to get a, a much more uh, gross for that week. If the driver, for example, has some restrictions, so we don't go to New York City, Los Angeles, yes, uh, but pretty much they would go maybe like 10, 15 miles away from, from those um, uh, cities. Um, yeah, and gross for flood that is good. Um, they can earn, you know, like up to $3,000 uh, per week, 10,000 gross for flood bed. Um, Conestoga, step deck is a little bit even higher. So, yeah, it's pretty much good all right all right um okay so no canada all right so listen uh her express you guys are uh, a company that's based in the chicagoland illinois area um there's unfortunate uh companies that kind of treat drivers like some kind of way and it just puts a black eye on just about all Chicagoland companies. What makes you guys different than other Chicagoland companies out there? Uh, yeah, we get those, those type of responses about, you know, like Chicago type of companies where drivers are cheated, stuff like that. Um, no, we, we are not one of those that, you know, lie to drivers or, um, not returning uh, escrow amount of uh, of money for drivers, uh, which happens, you know, with with some companies out out there. Um, so yeah, I mean, after 40 days, uh, we have to return the escrow account to the driver, the $2,500 that we are talking about. Um, if the driver brings back the truck, you know, sometimes happens that he's not really, uh, maybe he's plans have changed or he has to change either jobs, either family situation is not good, then yeah, that's fine. Um, you just have to announce two weeks in advance that you are um, quitting the job. Uh, he brings the, the truck back to the yard. And then 40 days is left for us to uh, manage with the insurance uh, to see if there are any claims on that uh, truck, if there are any damages, you know. And then, yes, we always return this escrow back. Um, what else? Uh, we are we're quite transparent about the gross, so we forward basically the rates from the brokers to the driver so that they know for sure that the gross is exact amount that, that they earned. So there is no things like editing, you know, like there are a lot of stuff going on. So yeah, you, drivers don't have to worry about that. Um, and it's the same for, for flatbed, reefer, drive-in, especially those who work on percentage. It's their right to know how much they're grossing for every load. Tru trucks, are, trucks are good. Yeah, trucks are good. Uh, we have lease purchase program, uh, three years term. Uh, most of the drivers like it. Even if the, the gross for reefer and drive-in are not that fantastic like uh, one, two years back, still there are interested drivers to work with us uh, because 
in, in this uh, time they build equity of that rock, even if they receive the uh, approximate amount of money that um, a driver, a company driver has, uh, let's say maybe 2,200, 2,500, sometimes it's even 2,000 uh, per week uh, income, they still are happy with the lease purchase because after three years, they can always either sell the truck, either become own operators on their own. Um, yeah, so that's that's also one of the good factors that uh, um, drivers are attracted to our company. All right, so Hara Express definitely like to be transparent with their drivers, of course. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah, and we have a lot of uh, you know like reviews. Ch check it out on our Facebook page, slash reviews You'll you'll see there like eight. 80 type of reviews, uh, like five stars. Uh, drivers quite happy here. Uh, owner operators as well. Uh, we we try to you know talk to each individual owner what what's their plan for the week, um, how we can help with renting um, trailers such as flatbeds, uh, driving and, and reefers. We help sometimes with the place registration. Um, yeah, so not only drivers, owner operators are also welcome. Um, and one more thing that uh, we are a little bit different than what we discussed last time was uh, we have a new line uh, right now, uh, Midwest to uh, East Coast, especially those uh, drivers living in Philadelphia, uh, Delaware, um, New Jersey. Um, they have a, uh, an option to go weekly home, uh, Monday to Saturday. One one day, you know, they start home, and then next day, Monday, they, they start new loads. Those are pretty good. Uh, type of loads, pickups, drops, multiple stops uh, from Chicago area. Uh, also, those who live in Chicago area, they also have this option, uh, weekly home loads, which is uh, not bad. Um, you know, like $1,800 after taxes they can earn every week. Um, yeah, and then the rest of the payments and the rest of the areas, they would have to go at least from two to three weeks over the road. All right. Uh Pre-employment drug screening, hair follicles or urine or both? Uh, we do urine. All right. Uh, so, of course, this is uh, 1099 uh, per company driver as well, right? So this is 1099 across the uh, board? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, about 60, 70% of our um, uh, employment is based on 1099. And then uh, those loads for weekly home loads, um, to East Coast, those goes on uh, W-2, uh, which is pretty much good. Uh, I found out drivers like to be paid on W-2, be more, you know, reliable that they're getting the, even if they're getting 3,000 miles, they want to, to get the, to be sure that they are um, having the regular income. Uh, as I said, $1,800 $1, after taxes, which is not bad these days. All right, all right. Um, and, you know, like tax deductions, health insurance, so they can also opt that those type of, uh, of benefits. So how much how much deductions are we looking at to be uh, to be taken out of our settlement every week? Uh, on W-2, you know, it's it depends on every state. Uh, every state is uh, having its own requirements. Uh, but I would say, like, 15, 20 percent uh, of the income goes on taxes. Okay, cool. Awesome. Uh, the equipment that you guys have and what are they governing that? Uh, so the trucks that go over the road two, three weeks or even more, if drivers um, like to stay more, those are 70 miles per hour. Um, they can do 60, 50, 700 miles every day. Uh, pretty much good trucks, uh, 2020 trucks. Uh, especially for floodbed, we have also brand new, for reefer brand new. Uh, drive van is uh, 2020 trucks. 80% uh, of our fleet are Freightliners and then Volvos and Kenwood. Uh, they are all equipped, you know, with fridge, uh, APUs, uh, anything needed for, for an OTR driver. Uh, you know, microwaves, uh, sometimes they, they do have microwaves, but um, they, they can bring their own, you know, drivers. Uh, try to keep their own models of microwaves. Gotcha. Pet and rider policy, and how young can I bring my rider? Uh, yeah, we are pretty much open with uh, pets. Um, we had, you know, 
uh, 50 pounds uh, dogs, uh, drivers that have rely on, on their pets. And yeah, we are quite friendly with the pet policy, rider policy, as long as the, the rider is 18 years old. Um, you know, we, we don't keep minors in the trucks. It's, it's a little bit uh, tricky. You, ha- you need to have a special insurance for that. So, um, yeah. All right. 18 uh, years plus. Do- all right. Uh, again, Hera Express is on the line right now. I do appreciate you guys calling in and and uh, give us a, a update on what you guys have to offer. Uh, SAP drivers, do you guys accept them? Uh, yeah, with SAP drivers, it's a little bit more complicated. We still work with SAP drivers if they completed uh, the program one year. Um, then, yes, we, we can cover them. Uh, those that have been recently uh, on the program, it's a little bit more complicated. You need to have a special insurance for that. Um, so, yeah, as I said, you, as long as the driver, you know, things happen, uh, one year passed, then, yes, you can come and work with us. Very good. Okay. Well, thank you very much for uh, for giving us an update on Hera Express out of Chicago, Illinois. If you guys are interested in Hera Express, the information will definitely be in the description below. Make sure you guys let them know that Lockout Men sent you, and you heard it here first on the lock uh, on the Recruiter Call Channel. Who's next? Who's next?